I hope you are wonderful. This is Jan of Jan Hicks Creates. Not a Stitch With Me Friday, but a Catch Up Floss 2 Friday. Um, as many of you know, the boys were here. They left Wednesday. Yesterday I needed a day to recover. So yeah, I'm coming at you today with my floss tube. I am late because I am having a slow morning this morning as well. It's almost 11 o'clock here on the gorgeous island of Oahu, 82 degrees, partly cloudy. Here's your weather report for the day. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a good week. Um, yeah, it was, it was great having the boys here. Not to say they didn't get on our nerves. <laughs> they are almost 21 and 23 and can never agree on anything. <laughs> but it was just wonderful having them here, being able to take care of them for a little while. Um, difficult to say goodbye, but they were ready to go. We basically covered the whole island. Um, hiking, snorkeling, um, eating, just everything. Um, yeah, we went all over the island with them, up Diamond Head, um, over on the west coast, up one of the mountains to overlook the west coast, sunset on the west coast, dawn coming up on the east coast, all the different gorgeous sights on the east coast, garlic, shrimp, snorkeling, um, you'll see a lot of those videos uh, and pictures that we took at the beginning of this video and probably the next one because there's a lot. The waves are back on the North Shore. It's like somebody flipped a switch and boom! We went snorkeling on, in Shark's Cove, which is a kind of a protected, protected by lava rock cove. You'll see videos you saw videos <laughs> of that area. We took the GoPro. Actually, I have to get those pictures off the GoPro, the video and the pictures off the GoPro. Um, so I'll have to do that yet. But even in this protected cove, there's openings where the water, the waves were just coming, pouring in. So swimming across that opening where the current was, was, um, yeah. Things, things have changed on the North Shore from over the summer, so I think winter is coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was amazing having them here. The mushrooms, they liked the mushrooms. I won't say they gushed. I didn't expect them to gush again. Almost 21 and 23 boys, they don't gush over stuff like that, but they did like them. They thought they were cool. Um, my older son did not want me to do a video. He is my camera shy one, so I didn't do a video, but I did take pictures of like each of the steps of opening, so I will insert those pictures here. Yeah, Ben took his home with him. It made the trip okay. Samuels, I will be boxing up um, and mailing to him. But yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with their reaction. So what more could I ask for? Uh, let's see. So I have a lot to cover today. Um, like I said, it was kind of a slow morning. Yesterday, I was just exhausted. Actually, I did something. Yesterday, I had a physical, one of my physical therapy appointments. Those are still going on with more or less good results. We aren't there yet. Um, but my back just spasmed yesterday. When I got out of the shower, I was to the point where I could barely get upright. I still went to my PT appointment, still did grocery shopping, but by the afternoon, I was just wrecked. <laughs> I, I mean, I literally could barely get upright. Much better today, still a little, tender and stiff and my back is like you treat me wrong I'm taking you down <laughs> so I'm still kind of like moving slowly today but feeling much better um, looking over at my my notes 
Um, we are still planning on going to Phoenix next week. I will be doing, I'm planning on doing my floss tube, my getting back into my regular schedule and doing my floss tube video on Tuesday. We are planning on leaving on, I think Thursday the 7th and staying there till the 15th. I do plan on going to the attic. I don't have any like idea what day, but if there are any of you in the Phoenix area who'd like to meet up at the attic, I'd love to meet you. So um, just throwing that out there, because I don't know what day. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mike's talking about taking the RV out for a few days once we actually get it started. So we can have it, you know, do a little trip and have it running. Don't know where we're going on that either. It, it'll just be someplace like within a few hours of Phoenix. It's not going to be long. Um, so yeah, everything's up in the air, but I do plan on getting to the attic. So get in touch with me if you want to get together and hopefully we can make it work out. I'm going to see if the attic carries the Easy Guide fabric and see if I can get that from there. I haven't really decided on which count I'm going to use. I didn't think about it at all, of course, while the boys were here. And I was looking at my swatches again this morning. Um, and I still don't know. <laughs> so um, I hope to make that decision before I go to Phoenix and I'll, I'll see if, if the attic carries that fabric. If any of you guys know, let me know. Um, if they don't, I'll just order it from 123 Stitch. And you know, I'm still not even 100% sure that I want to get gridded fabric because then you have to deal with getting the grid out. And like I, I said, I think in the video, since I am working on the diagonal, it's not like I have to park far away. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just get some Jobelin or Lugana or something at the attic and that'll be fine. All right, so what else is happening? By the Bay Needle Arts, time for season sal will be starting soon. I believe the invoices will start going out the 5th. We'll be getting our first um, PDFs on the 15th. So if you're hesitant, if you haven't made up your mind yet, think quick. Not that you can't join any time, but, and some of you may be waiting to see what we get and what it looks like. Um, yeah, I won't take my stuff with me for the PDFs coming out on the 15th. That's when we're returning. Although it would be kind of fun to have it with me to work on on the flight back. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Um, <laughs> oh, I wanted to share something with you that um, came to me on Instagram. And I don't know how many other people that this gentleman got in touch with, but this is for those of you in the greater Virginia area. Ruther's Glen, Ruther Glen, Virginia is the particular place. A gentleman messaged me on Instagram. His wife passed away last year and he feels that she won the contest of having the most stash before you die. <laughs> Unfortunately, that means that he has to deal with it now. And so um, what he has done is, let's see, he is at the Virginia Bazaar Lady Smith exit on 95. I don't know where that is. Um, I think for the next three weekends, he post he sent this to me on October 20th. So he was probably there this past weekend. He'll be there this coming weekend and maybe next weekend. Um, Saturdays and Sundays, nine to five at the Virginia Bazaar. He says, I have anything that a cross stitcher or crafter of any kind needs, including material, DMC floss, hand towels, patterns, kits. Additionally, I have furniture and displays, a ton of fabric, yarn, wood crafts, more. She was very thrifty, so the prices are dirt cheap. Um, he posted some pictures on Instagram, lots of decorations for the holidays, bolts of fabric, piles of fabric, um, some finished knitted items, 
the chest of DMC, like you see at a cross-stitch store, full of DMC. Again, this is probably his second weekend, so some of this stuff may be cleared out. But if you are in the area, Lady Smith exit on 95, the address is 8430 Smith, 8436 Lady Smith Road, Ruther Glen, Virginia. And I will be putting that information in the description box below. All right. I think that is all the news I have for you. Stitching. So I did stitch every evening while the boys were here and I did get some knitting done. I worked mostly on my bookmark. This is 28 count one over one. And this is, I have to say, what I am most comfortable on. This is some type of even weave, either Lugana or Jobelin. I worked on 20 or 28 count Lugana do you remember the Brenda Gervais Summer Schoolhouse series that, you know, is in progress? That is 28 Count Linen 1 over, or Lugano 1 over 1. Um, the, now the Harbor Haven was 28 Count Linen over 1. Um, so I probably will just stick with over 1 on 28 Count Lugano, Jobelin, something like this. Um, because I do really like the coverage and I'm, I'm comfortable with seeing it. I don't have to use any magnif, oh, I use readers, you know, I use readers, but um, it's not like I have to use an extra magnifier at this point. So, you know, if over the, the time period that I'm working on this and my other full coverage pieces, my eyes start to get worse, there's always an option to get a magnifier, right? So I finished the diagonal that I was working on and you can see that center piece, the center circle is really starting to come out and then started the next diagonal. And I have to tell you, I am thrilled so far with this diagonal. This is the first one that ha has had like multiple stitches of the same color. I'm, I've had like maybe two or three of the same color at times, but in this section, I had like five of the same color and then like a whole clump of them down the diagonal. I got almost 300 stitches done yesterday evening. I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> I like this diagonal. But I'm probably gonna put this away for now um, and pick up Shades of Gold. I'd like to work on Shades of Gold the, the whole weekend and get a whole big chunk of this done. So I did get more done on this. I got, um, I think this, more of this border done finish that the border the kind of dotted border coming up there the triangle and then started this piece here now this is mimicking this it's just a mirror image of that and for the most part the rest of this I think is going to be just mirror images of everything I have in place so far and it does go fast relatively speaking it's a big piece so I'd like to get a big chunk of this done this weekend, especially before I start the um, Harbor, ha Harbor Haven <laughs> time for seasons um, stitch along in the middle of the month. That probably, well, maybe I will take that with me to Phoenix. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I did work on my knitting a lot too. These are some long rows. I'm still in the brioche section. I'm about halfway through the brioche section. And I am doing, like I, I talked last week, the, um, the, what do I call it? Taught myself how to work on both colors across the row at the same time. For those that don't know, when you're working something like brioche, um, you have to work across the row in one color, or the standard way of doing it is working across the row in one color, sliding your stitches back to the beginning of the needle, and then working across the row again in the second color. And that's what gives you this interplay back and forth of the two colors. And you'll see this is the right side, the light is prominent over here, and on the back side, the dark color is the prominent color. 
It's just, that's the way brioche works. So I can work with the, the way I've taught myself, I can work both across both, both colors across the row at the same time. So it is saving me some time, but it is like 354 stitches. And I think the next row I'll be adding 10 stitches onto the needle. So, but I'm happy with it. It's a beautiful piece. I am loving my color choice. And yes, I've looked at other people's that are finished. Love this one. This one, um, Stephen West hit it out of the ballpark with. Um, and that's my stitching. That went awfully fast, didn't it? I was thinking this was going to take a long time, but we still have more to go. Let's see. Oh, I did want to mention, where did it go? There it is. So I had mentioned when I was working on this the last time, the, in the last diagonal, the one before this one, I think, yeah, the confetti was driving me insane. I was getting really frustrated with it. And there was just as much confetti coming down on this diagonal as the previous one, and it didn't bother me at all. So either the hormones are working, the visit from the boys is working, or I was just particularly grumpy. I think it's probably the hormone therapy's working. So um, it's just so pretty. And I, you know, I love the way the individual colors all blend. Like in here, there's these wonderful greens and golds that all just blend together to create this beautiful, beautiful look. So not feeling grumpy about that at all anymore. All right, what else? Um, okay, we're gonna move on to haul. So I showed you from Northern Expressions Needlework last week, I got the Serenity design, which is using the Darling Floss from Mrs. Sadus. And I got that blue sparkler pattern, right? and I had ordered the beads and the beads hadn't come in yet. Well, they came in like a few days ago. So it has the Dinky Dyes silk floss in it. And then the Dinky Dyes floss is Coral Sea. That's a pretty one. And then all the different beads. So there's this kind of big one for the center and it's not going to it's not going to focus little tiny beads these are probably size 15s and then these wonderfully shaped beads how cool is that and this pretty blue color so maybe I'll take this with me to Phoenix not to work on on the plane. You don't want to be working on these beads on the plane, but that would be a fun little one that I could probably get done. Hmm. We shall see. Serenity, she has the bead packs up for that now. So I will be making a note to make a note. Um, she has the bead packs up for Serenity and I ordered that. So that is on its way to me. Did I tell you that last week? I don't remember. Maybe I told you that in the Stitch With Me video. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyways, that is on its way to me. I don't know when I'll start that. Um, probably not till the new year. I do want to start working on Christmas stuff in December though. So I'll probably work on that then because that says Christmas you know kind of an ornament type thing to me um other haul now this came I think right after my video and I did post it on various and sundry social media but Raquel sent me her new flosses so this is her Halloween set and this purple, and even this kind of grayish, oh, 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. The, um, <laughs> let's see if I can get this up. The needle minder. So my keyboard on my computer is metallic, right? The needle minder. So I put this down on the, um, on the keyboard and went poop. The, the, the metallic, the, you know, magnet thingy. All right, other colors. And these are all going to get incorporated into my patchwork. I wanna work on my patchwork too. More gorgeous blues. The gorgeous blues just keep on coming. Now Raquel says she doesn't particularly care for blue. And I tell you what, that woman can die. Some gorgeous blues. We have a couple of greens. Another gorgeous purple and pink. Oh, here's a dark green. Look how pretty that is. That's a gorgeous evergreen. And then this kind of grayish blue. Isn't that pretty? So, thank you, Raquel. They're gorgeous. Now, I did have a question um, come in from Marjean about whether her floss, the Mississauga Silk, is color fast. I asked Raquel, she says they can be washed with cold water by hand. Um, you may have some bleeding, some um, color coming off in the pinks and reds, which is true of um, like any yarns, except for any of the, the, the acrylics. Whenever, any, anytime you have any hand dyed yarns, some color comes off in the water, like especially from the pinks or the pinks and the reds, especially. Um, but Raquel says, um, if the fabric is of is a plant origin, like cotton and linen, with no um, blend with a nylon, then the colors won't stick to the fabric. They won't stain the fabric. They'll just wash away. So there's something she says she uses special dyes for her silks that um, the the I guess the dye won't absorb into the plant fabric, the f plant fiber. So um, now. Mayor, um, Marjean had asked specifically about using the flosses on a gridded project. She does have, I don't know whether it's pre-gridded fabric or something she's gridding herself. So Marjean, if it's one of these fabrics that you need to use hot water for the grid marks to come out, you're not going to be able to use these flosses because you wanna wash them in cold water, um, not hot. So. I hope that answers your question. If you have any more, let me know. I will also answer your email just in case. So. And with that, I have one more thing of haul that I'm gonna save for the very end. Right now, we're gonna talk about the 6,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, I am currently at 6,066, so it really bumped up. Um, I will say that this giveaway is a little more quilt centric than you would expect because I do not quilt. <laughs> um, I do have some cross stitch things, but there is a lot of quilting things because Fat Quarter Shop is sending me these things and I am passing them on to you. I have decided that I am going to keep this open to around the world. Um, I just don't feel right about even though some of these things are heavy about shutting out my friends in Canada, my friends in Australia, my friends wherever you are in the world. I would ask though that you continue to play through the ads at the beginning and at the end of my video because the little bit that we do get from YouTube um, from these ads will help to, um, to um, take care of the cost of the, of the, uh, the shipping. So, I'm going to kind of rearrange things 
so that I'm not turning my back to you all the time and I will be right back. First and foremost, we have the scroll rod cover and grime guards for scroll rod. I haven't opened this little package. This is the grime guards for the scroll rods and this is the scroll rod bag. And this is from my friend Jane Rayner. Now she had um, given away one of these in my 5,000 subscriber give giveaway. And then she also made this one for a future giveaway and here we are. So this looks like, um, this is pretty big. Maybe 27 inch scroll rods. And, I mean, you, and smaller, right? You can fit smaller ones in here just by making it, you know, folding it up or whatever. Um, and then I believe the grime guard to cover your scroll rods matches this fabric. Jane is selling these on Instagram as well. Her Instagram name is Jane's Bits and Bobs. So, per usual, if you are interested in this, say, I would like the scroll rod covers. It feels like there's something in here. Oh no, that's just the lining. Okay, and the lining is the same as, you know, this here, so. So I would like the scroll rod covers if you are interested in this one. Next, we have a set of cards from, from um, Lori Holt. This pattern, and I think this is the one I was going to keep, but I decided that um, I probably would never get it done. And then the Happy Camper, and I do have another one of these that I am keeping. So if you are interested in this one, say, I would like to stitch the camper set. Now I'm turning my back on you to put stuff away. <laughs> I will stop doing that. Um, again, from all, the rest of this is all Fat Quarter Shop, um, Lori Holt be in my bonnet. So we have another set of cards. And then their Quilty Love pattern. I have two of these to give away. So, if you are interested in this one, say, I like the Quilty Love set. And again, there will be two winners for the Quilty Love set. I said I was going to stop doing that and then I just did it. All right, now we're getting into the quilt things. This is a huge spiral bound quilt pattern book. It's really too bad I don't quilt. I have no interest in quilting. I love them, I think they are gorgeous. I would love, I own some quilts. Actually, Marnie has a quilt top. <laughs> she needs to quilt for me. But this is um, it's a, a quilt top. I think I showed you that, that my grandmother put together or her neighbor put together. I don't know, it ended up with me. But this is cute because she has like, shows you how to make little doll house quilts. She shows you how to take the patterns and make like other wall hanging type of things. Look how gorgeous that is. Love that one. Of course I do, it's in turquoises, right? Um, just all kinds of variations of taking the different, the different blocks that you see here and mixing and matching to make um, other quilts. So there, there, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot in this and Wait, let me find it. I knew I should have bookmarked it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Isn't that kitty adorable? So, I have two of these. If you are interested in this, say, I would love to have the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book. Okay? So that, like I said, two of those, it'll be going to two people. 
And then I have two of these sets. I believe I showed you these on one of the other videos. So, um, let's see, we have a small foundation paper, Perfect Five Quilts, Pillow Talk Book, and then the big foundation paper for Log Cabin. Trying to make sure it's in the bin, in the picture. Um, so if you're interested in this, say, I would love to have the Log Cabin set. And again, I have, yeah, I have two of those. So two people will be getting those. So happy 6,000 subscribers. Yeah, I know this is like totally quilt oriented. It's what they send me. They're the ones that send me more than anybody else. So that's what we have. Um, last but not least, my friend Loretta saw something and thought of me immediately and, and sent me a little gift. So it came with this card. Do we recognize this style? Teresa Kobutz Angel Kindness Cards. These are awesome. I want to stitch them all. So there are 52 cards here, all with different angel pictures on them. I think these would be gorgeous to stitch. Aren't those wonderful? They kind of remind me of artist trading cards a little bit, if anybody's ever done that in the mixed media world. So what I plan on doing with these is sharing them with you by every week, just sharing it with you because you have on the front a pretty picture and this one says rejoice and on the back it says when one door closes, God opens another, leading to a better, brighter future. So my words of wisdom for you today and for the next 52 weeks is going to be from Teresa Kogut's cards. Loretta, thank you. These are gorgeous. Like I said, I would love to stitch these. So pretty. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If there's anything else, too bad. <laughs> I'm gonna work on getting this uploaded, getting the videos at the beginning, the photos inserted where needed. And um, I will be back Tuesday. It'll probably be a much shorter video. Oh, how long is the... Um, giveaway going on? I don't know. Um, very good question. Thank you for asking. So, considering, all right, this is the first, considering I'm going away, I'm going to announce the, oh, I have a PT appointment on the 19th. That's the next Tuesday, so that would be my normal floss too. That's not till noon though, so I can get, uh, hopefully get a video done in the morning. So, do you like how I just kind of <laughs> talk? I'm an introvert, but I'm talking through this out loud to you guys, because you guys are all my best friends, so you understand me. All right, the 19th. On the 19th, I will be drawing the winners and announcing the winners of all of this. So you have until the 19th to watch the video and let me know what you're interested. Remember, don't say giveaway, don't say prize, don't say all that stuff that could lead trolls to me. Um, you need to be 18 or older in order to enter. And like I said, please keep watching those ads at the beginning. You don't have to watch them, just let them play through um, at the beginning and at the end of the video so that um, it'll help defray some of the cost of the shipping. And it, like I said, this is for all of you. So, on that note, I am out. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.